Yeah, shalom. Uh, and a praise and glory unto your hour, Basham, your hour, Shai. Basham, Raka, Kodash. Big up all of the Akyam and the Akwaf, where I push 100% true to the four corner of the earth, the virgin and the sister them. And double honor all the elder, elder them, a Yashala, who I push 100% true to the four corner, the Israelites them. So we are going to talk about Lucifer is yes, the beast and, 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 and the mark of the beast, right? Because in Revelation 13, you have two beasts, right? You have the beast with the seven heads and the ten horns that go into Western, Western Europe and it also go into the, the first ten na nations in a Europe for joining up with our um, NATO. Right, so Iceland to, to Italy and, and, and Greece to England. Right, but there's a second beast in Revelation 13, and this beast has two, two, hold on, Revelation 13 and 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and spake as a dragon. Right, so this beast has two horns. And, and and speak like a dragon, cause it's the boss, right? It's the big boss in the world, and that's going to America. A horn, not the Bible, dictate power. Now the two major powers in America are the Republicans and the Democrats, and and this is the the whore we ride upon the beast with the seven heads and ten horns. It's described as having two horns because in Babylonian mythology and paganism. Their gods have two horns, like you see the Kaguya and the Momashiki, all of them are based upon Babylonian characters, are pagan gods, like Tammuz and Demuzi and all of them thing there. Right? So the two horns are the beasts, is, is the Republicans and the Democrats. Right? And in Revelation 13 and 16, it says that this, this is the beast we give out the mark. Right, because if you read the Berean standard version of the Bible, it tells you more plainly. It said the second beast. Because Revelation 13 up to verse 11, up to verse 10 is about the first beast. And after that, it's all about the second beast. The second beast is the one we bring the mark. America is the creator of the mark of the beast. America is the creator of the mark of the beast. Yeah. And that's where, 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 where Lucifer is coming to, right? Because they have something called Lucifer is, which is patented by the government of the United States, the Secretary of Homeland Security. So the government of the United States has a patent with the thing called Lucifer is, right? Now in the scriptures, when they talk about the mark of the beast, it's saying Revelation 13 and 17, and that no man might, might buy or sell, see if he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of the name. So the mark, going to, going, you could have the name or the number, right? So if them describe it one way, you could see it described as another way, right? Because it's called Lucifer, yes. Right, it's called Lucifer, yes. But what it really do, it's a fusion protein. Right, it's used to bind things to other things. It's a polymer fusion protein called Lucifer, yes. Right, now, before them come up with this, them have something, hold on, them have something called They were studying in the 1985s, they were studying the possible role of a 72 Dalton binding protein in regulation of Yazimi. So they were looking for a 72,000 Dalton protein to fuse because your DNA is a double helix and each helix of your DNA has 72,000 genes. So if you want to fuse something to your DNA, you have to use 72,000, right? And that's what, them, that's what it's described. 
because when you put 72,000 extra to make a third, third strand of DNA, you go from having 144,000 genes and to having 216,000 genes, right? Which go into 600 multiplied by 60 multiplied by, by 6. That go into 216,000, right? So, that, so, so that way it mean by, by, by that no man might buy or sell, see if he that had the mark, Right, so it has to go into being pierced inside of you because the mark, right? That's what I mean the carax, the karagma, something sharp that that jug up inside of you, like 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 heroin people, you know, the thing that the heroin man, the orange cups, yeah. So when it say mark, that's all you identify that is something that has to go up in you, whether it broke the blood brain barrier or it broke the epidermis of the skin. It has to be karagmad in. That's what it mean by mark. No, it's going into what it is. Or the name of the beast. So it could be plainly stated what it is. Being the Lucifer is. Or it could be or the number of his name. So if they don't call it Lucifer is. If, if the language is a different language like German. And it's lighting. And it's lighting. The name for it is lighting, holding. And in, instead of Lucifer. No, you say, okay, but it still gives you 216,000 genes, which go into the number of his name. Because when you put the Lucifer ace yes, inside of you, you go from 144,000 genes, 72,000 genes, upon each of your helixes, and then total into 144,000, and you add the, you add the 72,000. No, you have 216,000 genes, which goes into 600. And three score and six. Because verse 18, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. And his number is six hundred, three score and six. That going to six hundred multiplied by sixty multiplied by six. That is two hundred and sixteen thousand. Everybody is born with a hundred and forty four thousand gene. Right? So In Isaiah, in Isaiah 14 and 12, in Isaiah 14, verse 4 and 12, right, it says that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, right? Now, we know that Babylon, the beast with the two horns, right, go into America, right? So, it said, this is the name of Babylon, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the, the king of Babylon and say, ho, have the oppressor ceased. How have the golden city ceased? How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? So, that, so, so Babylon in, in the Bible, which, which is America, is called Lucifer. So that's all you know when you see a thing called Lucifer is being pushed upon the people, that it is the mark of the beast. That, that's how you know it's the mark of the beast. That's why, sec that's why second edge is 9 and 1 tell you for measured all the time, diligently, by the signs you see. Written in other scripture, happening in real life. But people, a lot of people never know what I go on because they focus on the wrong things. You understand? Man, them I preach and I prophesy and I live them life for woman, and woman can be bought. You understand? Man, them I try to get BMW and record deals. Uh, and if you really want a BMW or record deal, go, 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 let them go up, up in your body in one of them Hollywood parties. Right? Start wasting time. If you want to be famous, do it. Take to be famous. And that's what these men them were doing. They were trying to be famous. They were trying to be the in thing. And the girl them were chasing the careers. They wanted to be career woman. And they were not being mindful of what was going on. It's all public knowledge. You understand? Fusion proteins can contain in Lucifer is, yes. you see me? And then in a, in, in a, in a look on the website, yeah, the primers and the probes, them have Lucifer is yes, inside of the jib jab. Right, Lucifer is yes, inside of the jib jab. So it's giving you, it's giving you an extra 72,000 genes. Right? I, 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 and them have another patent for that. 
right? Triplex farming, ugly nucleotides, a third strand for DNA, nanotechnology. Right now, they, may, they might take down the video, but look what me depend. I depend the National Institute of Government. And they'll say I'm pushing misinformation. I am reading the patterns. Right, so Lucifer is, is this thing. This triplex farming ugly nucleotide, which give you a third strand. An extra 72,000. You understand? Because what is an ugly nucleotide? The primers for the swibby swibby. Which in the, the jibby jibby as well. You see? All public knowledge. But people not concerned with this. So. Well, uh, well uh, you know, I'm just a breeze through this because I'm do this. Only for time already. I want to just hit panic quick. I want to simplify it so the YouTube algorithm don't take the video down. Because I want this for last for YouTube. So we know, say, Babylon inside of the Bible is called, is called, is called Lucifer. Because we read that in Isaiah 14, 4 to 12. Now, thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, oh, if the oppressor ceased, or oh, the fallen, how art thou fallen from heaven, O oh, Lucifer, son of the morning, how oh, art thou cut down to the ground, which did speak in the nations. That's how we know, say, Babylon can be called Lucifer. Right? Now, we know Babylon is America. The, the, the beast with the two horns, the, the horns being Republicans and Democrats. Right? That's, that's Babylon, America. And that is the beast we bring the mark of the beast. That's why you see Fauci. That's why CDC, that's why them all adhere to them, Fauci and, and America and see and, and Rochel, you see me, and Tedros. So Daniel 7 and 23, because some people will say, Well, the beast is not here, he is not here yet, as if the beast is like a man, like just one man, right? But Daniel 7 and 23, thus he said, The fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon the earth which shall be diverse from all kingdoms and shall devour the whole earth and shall tread it down and broke it into pieces. Right? So a beast in the Bible is talking about a country or a kingdom, not a, a wild animal or one man. It's talking about a country or a kingdom. Now the fourth beast inside of the Bible goes into Rome. Right? The first beast was Babylon, the ancient Babylon over the son Iraq. The second beast was the medio persian empire the third beast was the grecian empire under alexander the greek and then the fourth beast was rome which modern day because rome gets the sword the wound by a sword and rome falls for a thousand years and then them come back after 1492 as western europe nato that is the beast with the seven heads and the ten arms western europe the seven heads go into the seven heads go into greece the seven heads going to Greece, Rome, Spain, France, England, Germany superior and Germany inferior. Those are the seven heads. The ten hands going to, going to Iceland, Norway, Denmark, Germany, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Belgium, Italy, Portugal, and and, and, and one more, if me say, if me say, if me say France, if, if me say France already, me no, me no, no, so France, France, so those are the ten hands, the first ten countries we join up with NATO, and the seven heads, we just touched by that. So that's all you know, the fourth beast was Rome, and, and, and the, the beast with the two hands in our Revelation 13 11 is the whore. That ride upon that beast, Europe, because America and Western Europe always together. It's called a US NATO coalition. Them always together. And America, Homeland Security is the one we come up with the Lucifer yes, which is the mark of the beast, and people are taking it. You understand? So hold well on. The 72,000 Dalton DNA binding protein called Lucifer yes, is used in adenovirus. Right, so, so when you look up what is adenovirus, right, it says 
Microsoft, real time, never available, right? Adenovirus, Maxine Water is, is one of the jibby jibby, right? Which, which Maxine Waters are Adenovirus beef, right? Johnson & Johnson, Gamalea, continue, one more, one more. So all of these things are, 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 are the 72,000 Dalton binding protein, which we know the name of that in English is Lucifer, yes, Lucifer. And we know it's another jib job. It just says it's another jib job. And that is the name of the beast that thou shall take up this, this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, how have the oppressor ceased? How have the golden city ceased? How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? So Babylon, which is America, in the Bible is called Lucifer. The name of the beast that brings the mark of the beast is Lucifer. Yeah? So people say, what are you talking about, bro? You are going to know when it's the mark of the beast. You will know when it's the mark of the beast. You have to openly worship and know it's the mark of the beast, brother. You don't know what you're talking about. And these men never pick up a Bible. The, the last time these people that say these things pick up a Bible was, 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 was last, last year Easter. And Easter is not a holiday in the Bible. That's a pagan holiday. So they, them men, they are dickheads. Right? Because Revelation 19 and 20 tell you that. And the beast was taken. And with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them, right? It said, which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast. So you can be deceived into taking the mark of the beast. And them that worship his image, these both. So man them say, oh, it's not the mark of the beast. You have to actually know it's the mark of the beast. No, the Bible say, you could either know and openly take the mark of the beast, or you could be deceived into taking the mark of the beast, man. These are two distinct things, but both of them are going to go into the, the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. Right? So, them catch the people. Right? And how do them deceive the people into getting the mark of the beast, bro? What is the means? Well, the Bible tells you that too. Revelation 18 and 23. And the light of the candle shall shine no more at all in thee, right? The candle is the law of God, the righteousness. You have no more righteousness in you. You just have a dirty body, right? And the voice of the bridegroom, the bridegroom going to Yahweh Shai, so-called Jesus, right? His word, the word of God is not in you anymore. And of the bride, the bride are his prophets and prophetesses and, and, and his elect. The people that speak his word, it all go back to the word. The word of God is not in you anymore once you take the mark of the beast. So, for, for, for shall be heard no more at all in thee, right? And the light of the candle shall shine no more at all in thee. And the vice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. For by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. So, them you sorcery to deceive people into taking the mark of the beast. Now, people think that sorcery means hocus pocus, get you floaters, uh, uh, abracadabra, kazam. Them think that that is sorcery. No, that's not sorcery. You have to translate the word. The English King James Version Bible is translated the New Testament from Greek. So you have to go into the Greek translation for understand what sorcery means. And when you go into the translation, the word right there, so for sorcery, is G5331, Pharmakia. So them use Pharmakia to deceive people into taking the mark of the beast. Now when you click on the word and the definition of Pharmakia, you already know what the word sound like. It sound like pharmacy. Because the Greek, when you go over there, so in Greece, when you take a plane flight and fly out to Greece, and you want to go to the, pharma the pharmacy, to get some Tylenol for your headache, you have to say Pharmakia. You say, Este Pharmakia, don't they Pharmakia? And they'll tell you, oh, the right there is over there. You know how the Grecian man them talk. Right, so the, the information say, Pharmacy, Pharmakia, G5332, Pharmacy. Them use pharmacy to deceive the whole world. You understand? If you want to be a Batman or, 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 or a transgender, 
you cannot be a Batman and a transgender in Africa, in Arabia, in, in, in the Caribbean. If you want to do abortion, you can't do abortion in Arabia. If you want to have a Bible, you can't have a Bible in North Korea. So they can't use these things to deceive people into taking the mark of the beast. One thing from America that the whole world accept is the American medical system. Everybody respects the American medical system. For some reason, the whole world thinks that America is the best medical system, the most advanced. No, they are the most wicked, the most evil. Because them use their medical system to deceive the whole world into taking the mark of the beast. You understand? You can't even say it. You can't even say what we're talking about out loud because then the video can't go up on YouTube. You can't post the word on pan, pan, pan Facebook because then your Facebook account gets suspended. You can't post videos on TikTok about it and say the word, you have to come up with code word, Maxine Water, Jib Jab. Because you can't say it, because they take the video down. That's the farming of the word. They are protecting, they want it to be a secret. They don't want you for openly be able to say it. Because we live in a time, Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 22 said that we live in a great war of ignorance. We live in a time where people just don't fucking know any fucking thing. In slavery, we were not allowed to read and write, but everybody still had a job. Because you don't have to be smart, you don't have to know any fucking thing to push a broom, to milk a cow. You don't have to know any fucking thing to do anything. You just do things. Right? So, we live in a great war of ignorance. As long as I can eat and sleep, who give a fuck? Right? As long as the enslaved people ate, and people slept. They eat and sleep in slavery too. What is the difference between right now and slavery? You get to pick the plantation. Well, in slavery, they get to pick the plantation too. You could ask the master if master had a plantation in Tennessee with his cousin, and you already live in Florida. Master, can I go to your cousin's plantation instead as from, for Christmas gift? And I come back. Yeah, you could have do that. In slavery, the slaves get paid. You didn't know that the slaves get paid in slavery too. So that they could go to the market and buy themselves some nice clothes and come back to the plantation. Then get that letter from master allowing them to go at the market so that no other white man could fuck them up. They say, oh, I'm owned by master Howard. I work at the Howard plantation. You can't fuck me up. I'm his property. I'm here to buy a coat. My master wants me to look nice for Christmas, so I'm here to buy a coat. You got paid in slavery. So, so there is no difference between this time and slavery time. You understand? But in slavery, we were not allowed to know. But in this time, we are, and people just don't give a fuck. And that's why 72% of the earth already take the mark of the beast. Over 6.66 billion Karagmas were given, right? More than 6.66 billion karagma, sharp steak that go through your flesh, and your blood brain barrier. More than 6.66 billion karagmas given, right? More than 6.66 billion karagmas given internationally. 72.3% of the population has been karagmad. More than 5.55 billion people worldwide have had one karagma. Right, you have to talk like this because if you say it plainly what it is, the video gets taken down. Your account is suspended. So, more people learn from this. And I wasn't just rambling. <clears throat> Excuse me. You understand? The beast with the two horns in our Revelation 13 and 11 is America. The two horns is the Republicans and the Democrats. The horn 
which is this beast of Babylon, rides upon the other beast of Revelation. It is called a woman. Now, this woman has two horns. Why does this woman have two horns? Because the ancient Babylonian gods and deities were, were depicted as people with two horns. You understand? Like when you look at Naruto, you have the, 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 the Asasuki people, the Momashiki, the Kaguya, all of them people that have two horns. Because them people, character models are designed after Babylonian deities. The two horns. Right, and this is the beast with the two horns being America, Babylon, USA. Is the second beast of Revelation, and the Bible said the second beast required all people, small and great, to receive a mark. Because America was the biggest pusher and patenter. Most of the companies, all of them patents for this thing come from come from, from the American companies. The American companies have the source code. Of, 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 of the of the karagmas you understand so shallow and peace and blessings